We need to partition these decimals into tenths and hundredths, showing the partition as both fractions and decimals. So first, we have 0 0.47. We know that the first digit after the decimal point tells us how many tenths we have, so that's 4 tenths. And then the second digit after the decimal point tells us how many hundredths we have, so we have 7 hundredths. We can also write the partition in decimal form. So 4 tenths is 0 0.4 as a decimal because the first digit after the decimal point shows tenths, and then 7 hundredths is 0 0.07 as a decimal because the second digit after the decimal point is the hundredths digit. Now let's partition 0 0.61. Again, the first digit after the decimal point tells us how many tenths, so that's 6 tenths. And then the second digit after the decimal point tells us how many hundredths, so that's 1 hundredth. We can write the partition in decimal form as 0 0.6, because that shows 6 tenths, and 0 0.01 because that shows one hundredth. We can show what we did here. So for the first question, we had 0 0.47, so that's 47 hundredths, but 47 hundredths is the same as 4 tenths plus 7 hundredths, or 0 0.4 plus 0 0.07. Then we had 0 0.61, or 61 hundredths, but that's the same as 6 tenths and 1 hundredth, or 0 0.6 plus 0 0.01. We could also show the place value counters. With 0 0.47, we have 4 tenths and 7 hundredths. With 0 0.61, we have 6 tenths and 1 hundredth.